Greetings. I am Mr. Fabian Taylor, a grade 6 teacher at Molden Primary School in Upper St. James, Jamaica. And I was also a part of the teacher leadership project which was headed by Mr. Amacardo Brown. Welcome aboard. As a part of the training, I will be presenting on the use of hots and lots in increasing assessment rigor. To begin, HOTS is short for higher order thinking skills, while LOTS is short for lower order thinking skills. Let's get right into it. In order for HOTS and LOTS to be made a reality, the use of the Bloom's taxonomy of thinking skills is used. Through the use of this taxonomy, the main goal is to merely move students or to help the students transition from a lower order of thinking to a higher order thinking. Through the use of this module, it will see students merely moving from gathering of information which is considered knowledge on the taxonomy to comprehending or confirming this knowledge that was gathered then from application which is now which will now see the students merely making use of the knowledge gathered to taking this information apart or in short simply analyzing this information then the final step of the taxonomy will see students moving from evaluation which is judging the outcome to synthesis which is pulling the information together and creating generalization in short the taxonomy is an interesting module that is crucial in the 21st century mode of assessment. So, in perspective, you will find the questions or questions that require students to remember, understand, and apply. These will consider or be termed as lower order thinking skills then you will find at the higher end of the spectrum analyzing evaluating and creating these three skills are what come together to make or consider higher order thinking skills so in order for the higher level of thinking to be achieved, the lower order of thinking skills must be achieved first. If a person is unable to achieve all lower order thinking skills and move up to higher order thinking skills, then this person will not be prepared for real life situations. This is because the lower order thinking skills may need may only need to be recalled and slightly understood. For example, or examples of lower order thinking skills include comprehension of material and acquisition of knowledge. While higher order thinking skills include analyzing, evaluating, and creating. Higher order thinking skill consists of complex thinking that achieves more than just the basic recalling of facts. Higher order thinking skills enable students to retain information learned and apply problem solving solutions to real world problems. So, in order to create a well-structured assessment, all six domains must be catered to. These include knowledge, comprehension, 
application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. Once this is achieved, all students will be able to score a point irrespective of their level of competence.